Alright guys, so the Mazda 3 GL is in front of me and uh, this is the lower spec sedan version so it has fog lights, headlights, it has auto headlights like daytime running lights but it's halogen, it's not LED um, nothing much to say about the front, very minimal I like the, de the entire design I like how the chrome finishing is on it and everything blends together the lines, the bonnet it's not overly compulsive look at me it's like i know i'm cool fuck y'all yep um okay let's see how proportionate the wheels are uh, i'd say it's that it's that the rims are 16 inch but the wheels are damn thick like it's so thick it's so thick but yeah i think it looks proportionate uh the back feels a bit short though but I kind of like short backs because then I know like my back not so long lies it's easier to like just maneuver around. I'm used to driving hatchbacks and uh, yeah, so I like small backs. Long backs aren't really my thing. Um, okay, let's move to the back. This also, sorry, 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 sorry. These are also, it's not keyless entry. It's a, uh, yeah, manual. I have to press buttons, guys. Not retractable mirrors, but you have indicators at the side. Move to the back. Very standard Mazda look. You have fog lamps. Fog lamps, just the illuminators. But basically, you have rear fog lights, lah, huh? And yeah, it looks boy boy, lah. It looks a bit fat. It looks a bit fat, lah. But it's nice. I like how all of it. You see here. I like how this all joins together and then it's like whoop, and it goes to one line. Basically it all integrates and I like that kind of styling. But then again I also like very abstract styling so it really boils down to what you personally like. Uh, I like the design but the size is a bit too fat for me. But it's quite funny because my NC is the fattest among all the Master Miaras. But yeah, hey, that's the Master Tree for you guys. Ciao! Okay guys, I have no way of opening up the boot because there's no button here. Nada, no button here. So I have to do this. Okay, it's a sedan, so check out the boot space. Good boot space. What's this? Oh! There's a jack! Nice! Yeah, this is a boot space. What's this? Oh, there you go. Uh, spare tire. Yeah! Yeah! What's this? Can ah? They're supposed to. Okay, let's see whether the front actually came down. So yeah, not powered. This is pretty light though, very easy. See how light. Oh, it's damn hot! Okay. Hi, oh. Did anything happen on the back here? Because I pulled that. Do they go down? Do they go down? Oh, yes. So they go down, but you have to activate it from the back. I see. Okay. Hey guys! Can you hear the aircon? I'm blowing off aircon because I got it from that monster, my MX1 to this monster, Monster 3 GL. This is a sedan. And this one has aircon. My baby still doesn't have aircon. Okay, so let me just. Alright, and uh, volume. Okay, so this is the Master Jail, and uh, first impression of everything is it's very, very simple. Nothing, there's n nothing much I can play with, and I kind of like that. You know where things are. And it's very minimal, but I guess this is because this is the lowest spec one. And uh, let's take it off our drive and I'll do an interior of everything later. So let's just see whether this is telescopic. Okay, shouldn't actually touch that first, but I'm always very interested to see whether it's telescopic or not. Okay, these are manual. Okay. And then uh, visibility is good for me. Check my mirrors, check my mirrors, all good. Okay, of course me and Con more or less have the same right setup. Okay, so this one can actually come out a bit. Yeah. And lock it in. 
All right, let's take it for a spin. So nice to engage. So easy to engage. And off we go. So this has, this is a 2.0 liter. It has oh, Mazdas, Mazdas. Love Mazdas! Yeah, you can see how biased I am already, right? But damn, son, once you get into a Mazda, see the smell, guys, see the smell. So yeah, this is Sky Active 6-speed auto transmission, 210 newton of torque, uh, I think 162, yeah, 162 horsepower, and auntie, please look, huh? Guys, at Jiangshan, I don't know why, you all just have to stop and look, okay? Like, guys, guys. But yeah, oh, once you get in, I just love how the car feels when you drive it, the throttle response, the brakes, it's all so... It's also linear, you know. It's also nice. It's it doesn't bite unexpectedly. You know when it bites. You slowly throttle and it gives you the power that you need. Mazda has always have has always had this. And does it have eye stop? I'm guessing it has eye stop. It does have eye stop. It stopped for a while and then it started again. So this is actually I'm guessing the first Mazda that I'm reviewing other than my MX-5 and uh, let's just okay, this is a bit hard to open hmm. the build of this is so so nila huh? it's not to say I like this very minimal look of the entire Mazda I like this is like a flick a, a small flick here flick. small flick here which is very nice it's a very small design, but what you don't see is this actually curves down and it gives a little bit of design. What I don't get is why um, car designers, they like to put the... Hey, move. So sweet. Da, 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 da. It's car designers, they like to put the uh, buttons here. I don't actually like the buttons at the top, but maybe it's because I can see it like that, so I know like, oh, okay, what I'm pressing and what I'm not. Ah, so nice to drive a Mazda. I don't see why there aren't many more of this on the road. So nice. Excuse me, you're slow. Move. Thank you. You're doing your turn, illegal your turn. Normal, we're in Malaysia. Always have to be a lookout on these kind of things. Even when your light is green, doesn't mean that you have the right of way, you know. Oh, that's just welcome to Malaysia, guys. Welcome to Malaysia. Oh, and what can I say? It's a Mazda 3. The handling is superb. Um, if I would get a car only for the handling, I would get this car. Um, competitor of this car would be the Honda Civic. So, uh, my mom has a Honda Civic. I will just compare it with that. The drive, of course, heads down. Mazda wins. Handling Mazda lah, okay? It's just, oh, you're so connected to the car, you know. You see the smell, I can't stop because it's so nice. Why did it, mom? Why, 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 why? Why, 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 why not, Mazda? Why? I don't get it, mom. Mom! Maybe not enough space to put stuff, lah, okay? We all know Hondas are very, very good in having their car as spacious as possible. It's amazing because you go into a Honda City and the back is like, whoa, so spacious. Visibility for me of this car. It's good. Honda Civic is actually a bit too big for me when I drive around, but I don't feel that wideness in this car. This car is actually okay lah. I I have never been a sedan person, so I excuse me. You signal, please. Thank you. Signal, ha. You know, signal, ah, bro. Okay. Uh, yeah. So never really been a sedan person. I've always thought if I were to be, if I were to have kids or whatnot, like family, you know, when people are always talking about your being when you have kids, like, I didn't plan to have kids. Who planned me to have kids? I would get an MPV lah. Because MPV is like, you know, near to the ground, so much plant, so much more planted, and then you just, so much nicer. But yeah, if I were to get a sedan, this wouldn't be a bad thought. And it's actually very light. The steering is so light. But it's so light, but when you go a bit faster, it's weight it's a bit weighty so you know 
so it, you know you can control it you're not it's not so light that when you're going fast you go wee wee no it holds you into place it tells you like hey 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 you're going fast okay so that's nice uh, i like how the meter cluster looks it's very clean they have an analog in the middle for the speedometer but i don't have the taco meter oh i have the taco meter here it's uh, digitalized it's an analog digitalized kind of taco meter and um, yeah i have my fuel consumption on my right my brain and the yes oh, i love the brakes i freaking love the brakes it's uh, masa's like the only car where i get in and i'm like the brakes are nice like I don't even have to get used to it I don't even have to like Okay okay it's a bit like this But it's like Freaks The acceleration yeah. Right 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 I have to ch ch test the suspension right Okay So this is pretty This is very com This is very comfortable 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 you know Okay This is very comfortable Because I just chill like that This is my standard lie I don't chill like that Or I put my hands here I like that I can do this Because it's very comfortable very important, let's check out the sound system, okay? Ha! Huh. One thing I dislike is I don't get why the volume button is here um, I prefer the volume button was here, the knob Good that it's a knob Not good is that if it's here I guess it's because um, when you navigate around your infotainment system it's at the bottom center console as well so you just <coughs> so your volume button is just at the side so say let's listen to it Tell you motorcyclists are uh, seriously guys, we love you and all right. We don't simply talk shit about you, but the way y'all behave on the roads, please ah, uh, God. Because <sighs> they know when they get in trouble, it's always a fall. joke top of my head so here goes why is it when you stand on your head like you do a head stand blood rushes to your head but when you stand normally blood doesn't rush to your feet guess give you time man so nice i heard a little bit of squeak but oh so happy so are you done Okay, so have you done your guesses? You can put them in the comments below. Okay, okay, okay. So the reason is right, because your feet aren't empty. Right? Funny, right? Okay. So yeah, just an idea that you turn. And very stable, like total control, man. Please love this car. Okay, of course it's not as comfortable as leather seats. I previously, like recent recent, I sat in a rush Sat in the Mercedes AM No, not AMG, sorry, sorry, sorry Mercedes A-Class, the new A-Class The A200 and the A250 But this one, next, this one is cushion So, yeah, it's not as comfortable It doesn't hold me down But it's not something that I would complain about Okay, let's go zoom zoom Master, zoom zoom oh. Like I said, I've never been a fan of the hatchback. Oh, hatchback. 
I've never been a fan of sedans or love hatchbacks by the way. But wow. But then again you, you, you do hear a lot of the road noise. Like I can hear my the wheels a lot. So I'm guessing yeah, if I change the wheels then perhaps it will give me a different sensation. But soundproofing it's good. I can there's enough for me to hear what's going on outside. connect with your car you know what your car is going through and you know that your car is taking you places cause right now I don't know where I'm going I don't know how I'll turn back so I have to turn on my ways after this yes yes so see when I find my way well getting lost getting stuck in a jam somehow I managed to navigate my way to city of KL um I realized that the brakes are very heavy, as in. Okay, I'm supposed to keep them. As in the. Uh, yeah, because you know when you're in start stop traffic, right? You always accelerate, then you brake, you accelerate, then you brake, then sometimes you hold on the brake. So when you hold Stay on the brake, the it left, actually feels to loud. rather tiring to step on the brake for a long period of time. So I felt like, huh, okay. Yeah. In 700 meters, if you were turn just left on Jalan Kuching, Utara. If you were just driving normally, like on a highway and whatnot, where you don't use your brakes that much, or you only use it as a certain point of time, then yes, you wouldn't feel it. But on a day-to-day -day driving like this, driving to the city, you will feel like, eh, especially in a jam lah, huh? you feel like, eh, why the brakes so heavy? Yeah. But other than that, oh, I always wanted to turn you off, but I wanted to talk to you more. I like the suspension. The suspension is a suspension where it's very smooth, it goes over a lot of things and uh, it tells you that it's going over things but at the same time it doesn't give you any discomfort. myself you see hi I can see myself okay so very very minimalistic interior on the top you have uh, mm -hmm. yep you have the sunglasses holder here on off it's nothing that is very premium it's nothing that um, that would wow you it's really the bare minimum and they have there are two USB ports here in the center console uh, One 12 volt socket SD card Auxiliary cable port uh, In the middle There's space to put your stuff Two cup holders here And uh, yeah, it's actually very neat I like how everything looks like And it's very minimalistic But then again, this is the lowest spec Okay, So when I go in here And I look at this and then I'm like, wow, okay, now I know why the higher spec is like that. See, so different. It's so different. But then again, this is really enough for me. And the difference, right, of the price between the lowest spec one and the highest spec one. The lowest spec one is what, what, 105,000 lah, okay. And the highest spec one would be about 120,000. 20, yeah. So, about. 15 20 came more so it's up to you actually it doesn't make much of a difference when you do it installment month-to-month -month basis or year-to-year basis 
So yeah, actually I really have no qualms over the interior. It's very minimal. There's nothing much that you can say about the interior. I like how actually all this fits. They make the buttons the same as um, as the shape. It isn't like, oh yeah, I'm just going to put a rectangle button there. No, they actually make the shape according to how the shape of the other things are. CD player, um, it, it doesn't have dual climate control and uh, it's fine. I, I personally don't get the dual climate control thing. Maybe it makes a little bit of difference but I don't feel like it makes a, makes a big difference unless your car is really huge because in a car this size you don't really need dual climate control if I want cold and my passenger wants it feeling cold and she wants a little bit warmer then either way it will still be you know it will still match and everything will be fine so yeah all right guys so one of the things that I want to show you is when I go to the infotainment system so I'm using the rotary knob here and let's say I go to entertainment and then see ya. let's say I go to favorites and I want to go back so I cannot just press back like this because if I just do this it doesn't go back I have to enter then only it goes back so that is a bit annoying for me because I would like to just go back normally um yeah let's hop to the back i think the back is a little bit more snug it's nice everyone hugs cuddles yeah let's go have a look hey guys i'm at the back and uh yeah it's very snug okay like small not as spacious as the honda civic 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 face listed name for the civic anyway um yeah not as spacious but Yep, we have two cup holders here. And uh, yeah, this is to the maximum already. So I guess you can see there's really nothing, nothing. This is, the front person would have a little bit like okay space. So yeah, this is leg room, head room. <sighs> Let's see if you can actually access the boot from here. Ow, cup better. Ooh. I don't think you can. Doesn't look like an option to do so. Nope, you can't. But there are isofix mounts here, here, and here. For the side compartment, I'm actually quite surprised that they only give a, they only give space for like one bottle holder. I imagine that they would actually give more space here, being that it's Mazda. But yeah, I'm not too sure why it's just one deep compartment though. Yeah. That's about the back. Okay guys, I've been talking about this for the longest time, I'm so sorry. So let's try connecting the Bluetooth now, okay? Um, let's go to entertainment. Stitcher, lol. Bluetooth. Connect. Add new device. Oh, oh, okay. Go to my Bluetooth. Oh, I see Mazda. Pair. Yes! Pairing in process. Come on, do we match? 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 Awesome! Bing 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 is now connected, guys! But nice, I like their sound system, man. Mm. 